Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Sheridan. I work at the Long Beach Public Library, the greatest library in Long Beach. Um, today we're going to be making whirly gigs, which are some pretty cool toys that you can actually use to mix colors and spin around really fast. Before we start that though, if you haven't joined Summer Reading just yet, it is not too late. Hit up longbeach.beanstack.org, create your account, and sign up today. We have a ton of cool things for you to do all summer long. Prizes to win, books to read, book reviews to write, com activities to complete, uh, glory to win. Um, just a bunch of cool stuff, okay? If you've already signed up, be sure to enter the code EMERALD into the activities tab of your Beanstack Challenge to get a point for watching this video today and making your whirly with us. Um, before we get started with all of the crafting, we're gonna talk a little bit about how our eyes and our brains mix colors. So our eyes have actually these cells that are very specialized and are photoreceptors, which means that they detect light, called cones. They're cone-shaped, and cones actually, what they do is when light hits them, they send a message to our brain that is color-coded, and then our brain perceives that color. Pretty interesting, huh? So, what happens when our brain sees a color that is a mixed color? For example, uh, orange, which is red and yellow. Well, in those instances, the cones in our eyes, those cells, are sending two separate messages at the very same time to our brains. A red message and a yellow message, and those two messages mix to form orange. Pretty crazy, right? So, another thing that's super interesting about color is that objects themselves don't have any color. Uh, the surface of objects reflects a certain wavelength of light to our eyes and absorbs all of the other wavelengths of light. So our eyes only see the reflected colors. For example, the red is not like inside of an apple, and apples aren't actually red. Instead, the surface of the apple is reflecting the wavelengths that we see as red and absorbing all of the rest. Make sense? For example, this green tape dispenser is not actually green. It's only reflecting green light back at my eyes and absorbing all the other lights. So my eyes think it's green because that's the light that my eyes are getting from that tape dispenser. Pretty crazy, huh? Okay, so a whirly gig works by using force, sometimes wind, sometimes our hands, um, to spin and it mixes colors by propelling itself into a spinning motion. So for example, you'll see that this, that this whirly gig has a bunch of different colors on it, right? But what, what happens when I spin it? So You'll see, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see this side. I'm gonna spin it around on the piece of yarn that I've got it on, you know, and you have to do this a lot. Um, you have to do it so that the yarn gets nice and really, 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 really loopy. And then what you wanna do to get it to spin is pull your hands out. So you'll check it out, you'll watch. You go like that and see how it's spinning now? And what color does it actually look like? It looks like it turns into like some kind of like other color, right? All those colors on that Whirly Geek mix and become an, another color entirely. So our photoreceptors in our brains, instead of seeing individual colors, are getting multiple messages to our brains that in fact turn it into a whole nother color. You can actually hear the whirly geek breathing too. You hear that? It spins really, really fast. So I'm gonna show you how to make one of these bad boys today. Um, if you picked up one of the kits from one of our libraries, then you have pretty much everything that you need, except for scissors and a glue stick. Um, or maybe you even have those. Um, if you didn't pick up one of those kits, get a little closer and I'll show you exactly what you're gonna need to make your very own color mixing whirly gig today, okay? Okay, so now that we are here and ready to craft, let's take care of this, okay? In your craft kit, you've got a couple of printed patterns that you can actually color in um, to make your whirly gig. You also received a cardboard circle, okay, which, you know, is gonna be sort of the base for your whirly gig. Uh, you got some yarn, which is gonna be what we're gonna use to actually string it and spin it. And you also received some markers, okay? Uh, these markers we're gonna use to actually color in the patterns and hopefully make something that spins and is really super colorful, okay? You're also going to need, if you wanna paste these onto the cardboard circle, a glue stick and some scissors in case you need to cut out the, the circles. Um, so if you didn't pick up one of our kits, this is all the stuff that you're going to need to make your very own whirly gig. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So 
You'll see that we have an example here that you can see um, we just colored in ourselves directly onto the cardboard circle. And then on the back here, we actually used one of the patterns um, that we glued onto there to be able to make the actual spinning whirly gig. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I think what I'm gonna do is use this pattern uh, because to me it looks super cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually cut that pattern out using my scissors to be able to paste onto the whirly gig. Now, if you happen to not like any of the patterns that we gave you in your packet, that's totally okay. You don't have to use any of them. I'm just going to use this one today because it makes it nice and easy for us to see what it is that I'm doing. Um, you can also color directly onto the cardboard of the, of the circle itself and that should be just fine. So I think what I'm going to do is do um, two colors that really are on opposite sides of the color spectrum, on opposite sides of the color wheel. So I think I'm going to mix blue and yellow. So I'm gonna do you know, a couple of these blue and a few of them yellow. So I'm gonna color these for a few minutes and uh, I'll tell you what to do when we're done with coloring. You go ahead and start coloring yours, any colors that you want, okay? Okay, so I think I'm done. As you can see, I've colored some blue, some yellow. Um, you know, how did it go for you? Did you, were you able to color everything in? If not, take a little bit, another second to be sure to color everything in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next step, but if you wanna pause the video, uh, we'll wait for you, and then once you hit play, we'll be on the next step, okay? So, here we go to the next step. The next thing I'm going to do is actually glue this onto the cardboard circle, okay, that we've got going on. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the glue stick and just slap a little glue on there. You don't need a ton, a ton of glue, but you wanna make sure to get the outside edges so it doesn't flutter in the wind as it spins. And, you know, just be sure to just get a little bit of spread out glue all over the place there. Very carefully, what you're gonna to wanna to do is line up the circle of the pattern that you colored in with the cardboard circle and then just spread it out. I have a handy dandy bone folder here in my kit of craft things that I have all the time with me everywhere I go. So I'm gonna use this bone folder and just kinda of spread this out so that it gets nice and stuck to the cardboard circle. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use a pen, you can use a pencil, just anything that's nice and flat and straight so that you can actually just spread it out. So now we have our circle and what we're gonna do next is punch a couple of holes into this circle so that we can pass the yarn through, okay? At this point, what you could do is you could also color this backside any color you want, put a different pattern on there or really uh, just color it directly on there to make another back pattern for your whirly gig. Today, I'm just gonna punch in a couple of these using my scissors very carefully, just punch a couple of holes in the pattern in the front so that I can pass the yarn through. And now you'll see that I have this uh, colored circle with a couple of holes right in there to pass our yarn through. Next up, I'm gonna take our yarn and I'm going to loop it through one of the holes there. I'm gonna thread it, actually it might be easier. It might be easier if you do it from the back side. So you can see I pass it through one of the holes there and then I'm going to pass the other side of the yarn, the other end of the yarn through the other hole so that I have a loop that is going to be able to tie so that we can spin it. Put it through there. So now I have a loop on one end of my whirly gig and two, the two string ends on the other side. Next, I'm just gonna tie a simple knot. It doesn't have to be super, super complex, just a loop and put the ends through the loop and tie it nice and tight so you have a little knot there that you can then use for other things, okay? Actually, it'll hold it together. 
So now you've got a whirly gig, a cardboard circle looped onto this thing of string, right? So how do you spin it? Well, what you wanna do is spin it in a circular motion like this. It's not gonna look very pretty right off the bat, but you spin, 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 spin. And then once you have it sort of there, see how the string is all like looped up and tied up? You wanna keep spinning a little bit more and you've got that. And then what you wanna do is slowly pull your hands apart to get it to spin. So check it out. See how it's spinning? Pretty crazy, right? And now you can see that those colors are actually mixing because they're moving so quickly that our brains can't perceive two separate colors. So they mix into a third color, which ideally would be green, but there's so much yellow on there that I think it's actually turning into like a light yellow. Pretty cool, huh? So when you make your whirly gig, you know, depending on the colors that you've chosen, you're gonna result in a different color that's actually mixing on your whirly gig. On the back, if you do another pattern on the back, you'll see that there's a whole another pattern on the back there. But on the front here, I've got this sort of like pale yellow with little bits of blue, kind of like a greenish actually, that's happening. So yeah, that's how you make your whirly gig. Uh, you go ahead and choose any colors you like. To stop spinning it, you just wanna keep your hands apart and it'll eventually stop spinning just through its own, you know, it'll, it won't have any more force. And then you'll have, you'll be able to pull your fingers out. So that's how you make a whirly gig. Not bad, huh? So you go ahead and make your whirly gig, share it with us on social media. Our handle on Instagram is at LB City Library. Our handle on Facebook is at Long Beach Public Library. You can share it with the one that you made on there with us. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, everybody. So we're pretty much done with our whirly gigs. I've got this blue and yellow one and this multicolored one. Um, but now that you know how to make them, you can actually experiment with different color combinations, different pattern combinations, smaller whirly gigs, bigger whirly gigs. I'm not sure how big you can make a whirly gig, but either way you can try, right? So uh, you have the technique down. If you haven't entered the code Emerald into the activity tab of your Beanstack, be sure to do so, so that you get a point for crafting with us today in hopes that you win a gift card at the end of this week. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, take care. Don't stop reading. Be kind. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.